hey, hey, hey. It's all right. It's all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Well, well, putting a hood over Kelly's face. Was... Eden. This Eden. man. You were just dreaming, baby. You were just dreaming. What time is it? Are we supposed to be at Johnny's? Well, I was going to wake you up in a couple of minutes. I, I want to go I... now. I want to. I want to hear Kelly's voice. I want to be there. Are you sure you're yeah, all right? I want to be there now. Okay. Okay. Now just calm down. We're going to be okay. I, I gotta... We're going to get there for you. Hi. Listen, we'd love to stand around and chat, but we're in a hurry right now. Excuse Thanks. me. Yes, again, you're both under house arrest. You have no authority to do that. Ah, oh, so sue me. Listen, your little love nest is surrounded. Nobody goes in, nobody goes out. So dust off the monopoly set. Uh, put a hotel in Park Place for me. There's cops all over the joint. What are we going to do? We've only got 20 minutes. I don't know. Well, we should call Brick at Johnny's, but we can't because the phone's tapped, right? Yeah. Well? What is it? What do we do? Well, I'll tell you, I know one way out of here. Oh, right, you're going to shoot your way out, is I that it? I have to load the thing. Those guys aren't going to... We're being detained here illegally. Well, I went out here as bad as you do, but no games. Nobody's gotten hurt. We've been very lucky so far, so please just put it away. Hey, Bricko. A phone's ringing. What? A phone, the phone is ringing. Oh. Well, look, can you, well, can you just answer? I got deliveries right now, all right? Why not? I got nothing, I got nothing better to do. Johnny's place, Pearl S. Quasby. Yeah, could, could I speak with uh, Eden Capital or Cruz Castillo, please? Well, you could if they were here, but they are not. Are they? Are you sure? Well, sure, I'm sure. Uh, I mean, I've been here most of the afternoon. I haven't seen them, so, and I happen to be a personal acquaintance. Uh, okay, uh, do you happen to have the time on you? Well, it's not like Big Ben to you. It's, uh, it's uh, about uh, 5 o'clock. Okay, I guess they must just be late. Look, I'm not going to be able to hang on, so uh, thanks. thanks well, anyway. wait, wait, wait a minute, is there something you want me to tell them? Like maybe your, your name uh, or something? No, no. Look, I'll try and get back to them later, okay? This is Jeffrey? Oh, for the love of God, please don't, don't hang up. Do you hear me? Don't hang up! It's me, Pearl. I just happen to recognize your voice. I, I have been worried sick about Kelly. Is she still with you? Is she okay? Yeah, 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 it's me, Pearl. Okay, listen, man, I was supposed to connect with Cruz and Eden at five. Now, I just hope that nothing's gone wrong. Well, it's okay. I can make the connection for you, but you you, you got to tell me what to say. Oh, come on, pal. You can trust me. If it, if it wasn't for the fact that we were tailed going into the airport, I would be in your shoes right now. Now, come on. I've known about this kidnapping a lot longer than you have. Oh, okay, okay, listen to me. Listen, find Cruz or Eden and, and just tell them. Tell them that we're safe, both of us. And, and tell them that we're hiding in the greenhouse at the university, okay? In the greenhouse at the university. Yeah, um, Got that. Well, no, don't tell anyone else, okay? No one, just those two. No, no, I, I won't. You will, you will, do you have a towel, please? Uh, yes, Thank you. You will not have to pay for, uh, for this delivery. That's real big of you, really. Yeah, here, here, yeah, here you say. Anyway, I'm allowed to No, it's too risky. I got to, man. Not got now. CC has Gina on the hook now. We gotta wait a couple of days. Don't go near the greenhouse, you'll blow it. All right, all right, wise guy. You made your delivery now. Get out of here. I'll tell you something, pal. Yeah. I ought to pay for this delivery. Have to pay for this Here, Can you believe Pearl? <laughs> Get all impulsive out of his mind, Pearl. Wait a second, you don't think he's going to try to go see Kelly, do you? He's in love with her. He might do anything. He can't think straight. Well, well, you'll never guess what I just saw. Your friend dressed up like he has a job. Well, I guess he was wondering if we're all right under arrest. Gee, what a pal. You know, I sort of hope he might have mentioned something about Kelly. Oh, come on. You know, Pearl. 
but I'm you know, like, you know, like where she is, maybe, you know, perhaps, for example, I... You're out of your mind, Pearl, you, you, you're out of your mind. Oh, darn, and I was hoping this might lead on to something. Well, listen, McPherson, you know that fellow in the pigtail that was dressed as a livery boy? His name is Pearl. I want him under immediate and constant surveillance. Okay. I think you may have just delivered us our great... I'll drop all the charges, including obstruction of justice, if you'll tell me where Kelly is. What is that all? Yeah, I... Oh, come on, she's not going to spend long in jail. I mean, she'll be out on bail when Gina's deal's all tied up. Then she'll be free for good. We don't know that Gina's going to give that tape next month or next year. Her record of promises stinks, Keith. So why don't you have Gina give us the tape, Kelly will be free, and then you and her can run off with the money and everybody's going to be happy. Oh, well, except me, you know what I mean? I'm running around with egg all over my face because all the power and might of the district attorney's office can't bring this little girl to heel. You know, if I do catch her, then my name splashed all over the headlines, my re-election is assured, and I'll be happy. You're the one who ought to be taught to heal. Or I can put you in jail, both of you, which is what I'm going to do if you don't cooperate. Ooh. You know, even if I knew where Kelly was, I wouldn't tell you if my life depended on it. And I hope you throw every damn charge in that you can think of, man, because they're all going to blow up in your shriveled little face when the truth comes out. The truth may never come out, my friend. You know, I may get to that tape and destroy it before it helps Kelly. Now, hey, wait. They got guns. Timmons. Yeah? Well, that is just the news I wanted to hear. Well, what do you know, my friends? Keep a close eye on these two. <laughs> I'm happy. Who needs you? My God, you've got Kelly. We gotta do something here right now. Why don't you go in the bedroom? Be careful. You bet. Um, <clears throat> I have to uh, go to the bathroom. Is that okay? Yeah. Hey, Dave? Yeah. Listen, buddy, uh, I just want you to know I understand that uh, your sense of duty is making you do something here you don't want to do. And I just hope that you understand that uh, my sense of duty is to make me do something that I don't want to do. What are you talking about? Well, you know, Dave, just this. I told you to stay in the bedroom. I didn't listen to you. Well, listen to this. We gotta stay low so we can get to the car out front before the cops have back and hear us burning rubber. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go. Come on. Yeah. Pearl. Pearl, so good to see you. Hi. Wait a minute. What a minute. What are you here. doing? 
I'm gonna give myself up, but not exactly by Timon's book. I'm gonna create a distraction. Hopefully, you two will be lucky enough during that distraction to get yourself out the back way, but you have got to push. Don't get yourself okay. shot, for God's sake. Okay, bozos, I'm coming on out. I'll get myself up. I am talking to you. Give me Timmons. Give me Bozo. Give me Timmons. Give me Timmons. Give me That's it. There's no place else to run. Hey, it's all right. No, it's going to be okay. It's in this way. All you've done for me is help me. Nice try, but no go. Ellie, we want to see you next. So come out slow and easy, hands over your head, and there won't be any trouble. We'll give you one minute. This means we're not going to see each other for a little while. I know. Take your kiss on your plate. Santa Barbara, see, we arrested this murder. When we come tomorrow in this town, I'll be here. Yeah, well, fine, you go ahead and arrest me, but you can't let him die! Go on hey, 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 your friend has you to thank for getting shot. If you'd come out when I told you to, everything would have been all right. He was unarmed. You are the one responsible for this, you and Gina. I can't vouch for your stepmother, I'm just doing my job. So, Keith, we're gonna stick around here all night? You know, you still haven't grasped the situation, have you, Castillo? You are no longer inspector, you are no longer a detective, you are no longer a cop, you see? As far as I know, you're unemployed. I, however, am still the district attorney. I can do anything I want. If I think it serves justice, I can keep you here all night. You understand what I'm saying? You have nothing to say. Let go of your... Okay, see, let it go, let it go, that's fine. David, can you hear me? It's going to be all right. Just hold on for a little bit. Well, that's nothing to the point. You're well, now hey, back to business. Hey, you stop manhandling her. Do you hear me? Why? Well, you... Look what she's got. Look what you've done. I'm arresting her for murder. I don't expect her to do cartwheels. Hey, hold on those chairs. Look great in the 11 o'clock news. Take her to the station. Oh. <laughs> no, hey, not so fast. Listen, I didn't I didn't want to bring it up in front of uh, Kelly. You know, she has so much to think about, but came to my attention that you assaulted two officers of the law. I was being detained illegally in my oh. own home. I'll let the judge decide that. Right now, I got you. I'm not gonna let you go. Who would shot by the police? It's it's Kelly Capo. Capo. Hey, one, one question at a time. It's true, Kelly Capo has been apprehended. What about the shooting? Well, uh, she had an accomplice in this, and, uh, he was shot while assaulting an officer. His conditions are known. Who provided the information that led you to Miss Capwell? Well, I myself have been supervising this investigation. I'm proud to say that my tenacity has paid off. We you know, why don't you give your big mouth a rest, Timmons? Do you have a different view of the situation, Inspector? In truth, as the district attorney is well aware, Miss Capwell is innocent of the murder charge. Uh, uh, Mr. Castillo is no longer on the force. He's facing charges of aiding and abetting a criminal and pending know. charges <laughs> of assault. Can't you see that oh. Keith Timmons is using you and the law to get publicity for his re-election uh, campaign? Obviously oh, what is your involvement in it? I'll tell you my involvement. This is my... Uh, clear, 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 clear path. 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 Clear Don't worry about him, sweetie. I'll take good care of my promise you. We'll get you out of here. Mason is going to be here. Well, just don't say anything anyway. Take her inside, would you please? He is shit, my daughter, damn it! I know. You got a chance to talk to her, didn't you? Listen, I'm sorry, Mr. Capwell. Your son is no longer the uh, district attorney here. Your money buys no clout, I'm afraid. Your daughter will be treated with all the justice afforded to any You have got ball. the bloodiest idea what justice is. You know that? Sir, I understand you're upset. And so I'll ignore that inflammatory remark. <laughs> you're dirty. You're dirty and you're corrupt and I'll get you, I promise. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. Uh, he put us under house arrest. By the time we got away from the guards, it was too late to do anything. What's going to happen now? Well, they're going to take her in. She'll hear the charges against her. Uh, they'll book her, photograph her, and uh, sign her a cell. What's going on, Lieutenant? Uh, well, he's filed the additional charges against Kelly, and Jeffrey's being charged with aiding and abetting the escape of a felon. It's all right. Once we get our hands on that tape, we'll bring Timmons to his knees. At least he didn't press charges against Cruz. He would have if he could. He uses the law as his own personal weapon. Mason, have you seen Kelly? No, not yet, but I spoke to the judge. Because Kelly eluded the authorities for so long, it looks like bail's going to be set extremely high, if it's set at all. I don't care how much money it costs. She's not going to stay here one minute longer. So we get her out on bail. If we don't have that tape, she's going to be tried for murder down. Darling, all we have to do is think about tonight, right now. After we get her out of here, she doesn't spend one more day in a courtroom. Believe that. Then, if you're planning another escape... No! I'm getting the tape back from Gina. She has been stealing us blind. She's been going to our account. She's been embezzling money from the foundation, from our corporation. I got proof of it. Enough to indict her? Yes, enough to press charges. As soon as he comes up for air, I'm going to press charges. That might be easier said than done. Oh, no, no. I got the information. It's all given to a reliable assistant district attorney. And Tim is going to be forced to clap her in jail. I can tell you that right now. What do you know? Busty wasn't counting on Kelly may be in jail now, but Gina is going to be right behind her. I'm going where? Behind who? I want to know what you're all up to, Cece. I didn't like the way you were looking at me. And you said you wanted to see Keith. It's not Kelly, right? Well, well, what's so urgent you're demanding to see me, Cece? I want to speak to you in private, Timmy. Well, uh, listen, you want your wife out here, tell yourself. Get out. Get out. Get out! I assume that you have uh, seen the evidence? I guess you're talking about your daughter now. You know damn well I'm talking about, Gina. Well, I was shown some papers. Documents proving she stole thousands and thousands of dollars from my accounts. I'm the district attorney. I don't get involved in I want her arrested. Wobbles. I want her arrested now. She's your wife. You can't prove embezzlement. Her money's hey, your... don't squirm with me. I'm going to press charges now. You just have to have to do it. Yeah, but I have to sign the warrant. I have no intention of doing that. Then better listen carefully. Because I'm going to tell you just once. See, I happen to know that you were involved in this embezzlement scheme. Quite a bit. Now, I don't have as much on you as I have on Gina, but I got enough to give you a lot of negative publicity. Enough so you'll never be able to run for another public office in this town. You you me? Me? No, I'm not. Never try to threaten you. I am threatening you. So you got five minutes to put her in jail, or I call the governor and he boots you right out of this office. <laughs> How much of an idiot can you be? Fool! Imbecile! Boo! Hey, Stop calling me names! Why, why were you so blinded by your greed? You didn't hear that little voice inside your head, my voice, saying don't mess with the computer. It's going to cause a lot of trouble. You really get off on this kind of sadistic behavior, don't you? Well, why don't you stop screaming at me and start trying to help me? You pitiful creature. There's not a damn thing I can do for you now. You must be able to figure something out. When you were in on this computer scheme from the beginning. And that's one little tidbit of information I'm not going to be afraid to tell everybody. You have no proof. But I was there. Who's going to believe a grand larceny has tried to save her own hide? You wouldn't let them. You wouldn't let them arrest me. See, I have no choice. What do you mean? You could think of something. You're really smart about this kind of stuff, Keith. And besides, I, I know you can't forget about all the good times we had at, at my hotel room and at your place and even down in Cece's wine cellar. We were everywhere together. Every time was a moving experience. Why don't you lock that door and I'll give you some more experience. And then you can get Cece off my back. Uh, I, I, you know, it's, I love you in your wanton ways, but, you know, it, District attorney has to do what a district attorney has to do. You, know? you don't mean that. Darling, you made a foolish mistake. My hands are tied. You wouldn't dare arrest me. You listen to me, Keith. I knew something to be good. 
I'm going to walk out of this room, out the door, and you're not going to stop me. You wouldn't do it. Because you know everything I've done for you. Well? Well, it's all very simple, Jenny. It's cut and dried. You give up the tape. We drop the charges. You think that's simple? Consider the alternative, Gina. Yeah, we'll just have to watch you go to jail. I think it's ten years. That's what you get for embezzling ten years. You put me in prison, and Kelly will get life for murder, and you will never get that tape. Oh, that's an old song, Gina. We're getting a little tired of that. You might as well start playing it over and over again in your head while Kelly walks. Really? Tell me something. Do you really think that you are going to go to jail for ten years just to spite us, no matter how much you hate us? You watch me. Ten years, Gina? The last years you'll ever be able to pass for young. And when you come out, you won't have a dime. You won't have a future. You won't have anybody. Just stop with your prophecies of doom, Cece. What about Brandon? Brandon will be 18 years old by the time you get out. He'll grow up without you. He won't even recognize you. You leave Brandon out of this. No man, Jim. No man for 10 years, you? You've forgotten about conjugal visitation, Cece. Why don't you face reality, Gina? You've lost. I haven't lost anything. For every day I spend in jail, Kelly will be there with me. Only I'm going to get out a whole lot sooner. And I'll be younger than she will when she gets out. She's going to gray and get old and shrivel up in prison. I'll still be in my prime. You face that reality, all of you. What do we do now? We call her bluff. I think we should go home. We're not going to hear any news till the morning. Yeah, probably not. Cruz, sorry, but you'll have to wait in a public waiting area. Yeah, this area is restricted after 10 p.m. Police personnel only. Slip my mind, Steve. Thanks. I can't stand what this has cost you. Save your concern for Kelly. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. You've lost your job. You lost your integrity. Even the only way I could have lost my integrity is if I'd stood around watching while that little jerk made a mockery of the law. Now, this is going to be over soon, and when it is, not only are you and I going to get married, but I'm going to get my job back. Keith is going to be out on his butt. And the law in this town is once again going to be, it's going to be back in decent hands. So that's... That's the way it's going to be. Thank you.